Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a swatching of the new pencils that I got. I received a first box of one of these as a gift and it was the floral set and I picked up this one which is the essentials which have um, the colors I like skin colors and such. So there's 24 of them in here. Really pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch all these out. Now if you're curious about them, let's get one out here. Come on. <laughs> they have a nice matte blue color on them along with the other set. A little silver band here and the color tip should match your color over on this side. They have the Spectrum Aqua Blend name here and the name of the pencil. They do not have numbers and that's the only thing that is written on the pencil. And they're nice and thick kind of like the Derwent pencils are and they are water-based watercolors. So we're just going to get these swatched out. Now I am using um, the color chart by Ruby Charm Colors, the big book of color charts. And I'm in the back section where we do water pencil notes <laughs> and I'm just going to um, I did an aqua blend up here and these are the Spectrum Noir color tints here so I'm just going to continue down because I did purchase a couple more sets of these <laughs> the um, different sets they come in I think five I'm not sure Okay, this one is pearl white, and I don't know how that's going to um, show up here. I'm going to do a color with the pencil. Oh yeah, that shows up really well, doesn't it? And then we will get out. <laughs> I don't mean to be giggly, but today is an interesting day. I will color it also here on the board and I'm going to um, wet it and put it down over here, activate this and bring it out. It's white, <laughs> so <laughs> you're not going to see much. Oh, I got a little pink on that, so you'll see pink on that because I have pink on the brush. I didn't wipe the brush off first. I should have. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. It's just white. We'll pick it up here. And it's, maybe it has a pink hue to it. Well, I'll figure it out when it dries. Then we'll try it again on a different piece of paper. This one here is called Alabaster. What I do with my pencil. Okay, so a little color in here. It's got a little bit of color. It's a little pinker. And we'll put some there. Clean off my brush. And bring some of that out. You're going to see a little translucency through the paper. This is thin paper and it'll just show kind of through because I'm wetting it. Um, It'll be a little easier to tell when you're not looking at white whites <laughs> or very light colored pencils here. I'm going to put that one down first and then write its name. This is called Champagne. Just looking at the spelling so I don't get it too wrong. It's a pretty color. Bring that out. Yeah, these are going to be very light colored. So we're going to have to wait till we get into the darker sex. There we go. That one's a little darker. You can actually see it. Straw. <laughs> Just plain old straw.
Wow, these are really light. We have some dark shades in here, don't worry. Cantaloupe. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. And this one is called S Squash. <laughs> there we go. I got some color finally. So I hope you're all doing well. I've got done with our big heat here finally i mean it's still warm but our big heat record breaking heat i guess you could call it honeycomb We got our internet back finally. <laughs> so we've been without our internet, our TV, and our telephone for what, three days. Well, that's a lot of water that came out of that. Don't need that much. When we finally got out and fixed that problem up. Then if you follow me on Facebook, see the other little bit of excitement we had. <laughs> I have my uh, mother-in-law over because I have air conditioning and she does not and because our temperatures were going off the board. I'm <clears throat> not used to, um, well, hundreds even. We're more in the 90s, maybe 99, possibly 100, 101, but usually that's about it. And when you get up to 111, that's just a little way too, too much. So we had to um, bring her over so she could actually get some sleep and be comfortable. Coral. So yesterday, <laughs> whoops, we've come back here. Um, it was a hundred and, uh, well, got up to a hundred and old, eleven at one point. And then it was just going all over the place. Okay. <laughs> we were sitting in the living room and we're just chatting and we heard the loudest kaboom ever. This is Ginger. Hey, we got some color here. And uh, I thought maybe it was a like a car crash. Somebody wasn't watching where they were going. It sounded so loud. So I went over to the door and I looked out and a car had pulled over across the street on the side of the street. So I went out the front door to see if everybody was okay and he wasn't uh, in an accident or anything he was looking up the road so I just went out to the edge of my grass and looked out and another big boom happened and it happened three times and I'm just sitting there watching it this is nutmeg from my driveway And it's a transformer blowing up a tree. <laughs> it's the only thing I can explain it as. So it would it would pop or 
blow up, bang, really loud noise, catch itself on fire, and then hit the tree and catch the tree on fire. So fortunately for us, we have a fire department right up the street. This is Tabasco, our tobacco. There's no S in there. Tobacco. It's so sorry about my handwriting. So when it got called, it only took four minutes for them to get here. This one's a little crumbly. So they were able to put the tree out quite quickly. It's a decent color. And um, of course saved all the houses and everything else to go with it. For, oh this one's kind of, um, I bet it's going to be chalky too. It's a little rougher to color with. For fire trucks. I didn't write the name of this one down. Didn't even tell you what it was. It's a pretty brown though. Umber. Okay. They had to block uh, the road off so nobody would go up and down it because the wire uh, went across the road up at the top of the street. Charcoal brown. They didn't want cars driving under it just in case something snapped on it. It was bouncing around quite a bit. So that was exciting for my mother-in-law. <laughs> She's never seen anything like that. Of course, I went running out of the house to go look at it, and, you know, you've got adrenaline and one going, taking a couple of pictures. This one is dove gray, but this one's pretty. Barefoot is what I did. I went out barefoot. It's not the smartest thing to do. Because I went up the sidewalk and I was walking up the sidewalk and then I started thinking about it and my daughter came out she's wearing her shoes and I look at my feet and I'm going oh moi I should really get some shoes on I was fully dressed by the way <laughs> I ran around barefoot a lot <laughs> it's not a good idea to go out barefoot when it's 111 outside and the cement is I find out later up the street um, from us um, he's a gentleman who is actually a news man for our King County news company over here. Anyway, he took a temperature reading of the cement and it was a hundred and fifty. I was in the shade though and I wasn't out there that long. <laughs> I sat there when I got. I hope nobody's walking their dogs on the cement. It's pretty hot. Ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. Black umber. Okay. So the bottom of my feet are a little tender today. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Silly me. Fossil gray. So that's my exciting story. There are pictures on my Facebook page. <laughs> then they came down later um, after they got the fire out and like I said we have a, a fire company 
it's not just a fire department it's also the um uh, what do you call it the um, fire department that goes out on brush fires and wildfires where they dig the trenches and such we have a fire truck or in our neighborhood that does that too we live in an area up here on the top of the hill that is uh, got a lot of trees and um, like foresty areas this is gravel live out kind of in the boonies <laughs> so that company came to they uh, brought in their forklift and they took the tree out is what they did it's a particular type of pine tree that can just hold on to the heat and could burst back into flames so they took the tree down because it's, it was around a whole bunch of other trees too so Dark Slate. I bet this one's nice. A little bit of brown in that one. It's nice. And this one is asphalt. <laughs> okay. Looks to have a bluer tone to it. That's cool too. This one is gunmetal. Not sure. A soft color here. Well, we got two more to go. <laughs> A little more water on that. Yeah. a little bit of purple in it. Ooh. That's cool. And this one is iron gray. It's going to be close to a black. And I'm assuming our last color is black. Ooh, I like that one too. All right, last one is ebony. <laughs> Soft gray. 
So there we are. Um, yeah, white is white. <laughs> the pearl. <laughs> so these are the colors that we have in the set. <laughs> these are the colors on the palette here. This one I used quite a bit of. So that's what they look like. So the pearl white is, yeah. There's a tinge of pink in that one. Alabaster has got a little bit of a yellow red tint, if you're looking for the differences. Champagne has got more of the yellow in it. And, ooh, I wouldn't say it's red or anything. It's more yellow. But this one definitely has some pink in it. And then you just get down into the colors here. The tobacco kind of it's like an olivey color. Um, Dove Gray is an interesting one. How light it is in this section. <clears throat> and then the gray section over here, which has got some really pretty ones in, in here that would look really nice on some landscaping with the purples and tones in there. So I really am going to enjoy that set. I'm going to end up putting all of these sets in one case and mixing them up and using them. So I'm not going to keep them in their little tins or anything. So that's what we have. Cool set. The uh, blue you see here is the other side bleeding through, if you're curious. I tried to keep the rest of the swatches off of that, but the blues <laughs> on the other colors seem to bled through, and that is the color tints. Yeah, that would be the blue, these three blues, the ocean, the blueberry, and the rockwell that show through here. And we have some more colors that show through here. So if you're using them in a thin book, the color tints do kind of come through. <laughs> the, um, yeah, these will bleed through a little bit also on these books. So keep that in mind. That's the, um, aqua brand, uh, blah, 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 blah. which one is these? This is the floral set, the pinks. You can see it right through the paper. Kind of like a shadowing, but it's there. Anyway, just to let you know that. So there we are. Aqua Blend Spectrum Noir Essential. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in another video. Take care everyone. <laughs> Bye now.